Okay, to begin our project, I, you could either use I hook or J hook, it depends on how tightly you crochet. Um, and then I'm going to be using the Burnett cotton yarn because remember this is a dishcloth, it's probably going to, it's going to be getting wet. And um, I was so lucky, I can't believe it, I found this huge one pound uh, of the yellow and the white. I bought several of the white because I need a tablecloth. But they were on clearance at my Joann's for like $4 for a whole pound. And so I have to get a bunch of it because you can make so many tables, so many dishcloths with it. To begin our dishcloth, I'm going to do the magic circle. Remember, the short end of the string is on my left hand. Um, if you do it, I guess, if you left hand, it would be opposite. So I just make a little loop like that. And I'm going to use my thumb to kind of hold it in place. I'm going to get my hook, go under there, and I'm going to pull out that string. And then I'm going to just loop it like if it was a single crochet there. So there it is. And you can make this a little bit smaller. Now, I'm going to do one chain. One. And then here in the middle, I'm going to do 12 half double crochets. To do the half double crochet, I wrap my hook around my yarn, so there's two loops of yarn on my hook. I'm going to go in through the middle and pull out my yarn. There should be three loops of yarn on my hook, and then I'm going to pull through all three. That's one half double crochet. If this starts getting too big, you can pull it a little bit to close it. So don't close it all the way. You just want to get control. So then I'm going to do 11 more. Here's number two. Three, eleven. Wait, is that eleven or twelve? Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven, and then twelve. Here's our last one. When I finish the last one, then I'm going to get that little string there, here, and I'm going to pull it shut. So just pull it. See, then it shuts the circle without making a big hole. Once we do that, I'm going to slip stitch into that very first chain that I made here. I mean, excuse me, the second chain. One, two. So I'm just going to slip stitch to close my chain. Now, to go to row two, I'm going to uh, crochet to another two chains, one, two. And then on every chain, I'm beginning with the first chain here, I'm going to do two half double crochets. And kind of loose. So there's an increase in each chain. So that when I go around, I will have 24. That phone hasn't stopped ringing. So now every chain you are going to make two half double crochets. Okay, so here I'm on my last chain, and then I'm going to stitch into the second chain one, two, and that is how we're going to go up to the next row. So that it should look like this. We're going to do uh, two chains here just to get up, and then in that same chain we're going to do a half double crochet. We're going to do the same thing as we did in row two with two half double crochets in each chain. This is kind of hard to see because the yarn kind of gets stuck there. So go ahead and do two half double crochets in every single chain. Okay, I'm in the last stitch here. So once again, I'm going to slip stitch into my second chain there. And as you can see, this is looking kind of wavy and all funky. Don't worry, it's supposed to be like that. Now we're going to do two more chains. Only on this time, I want you to do only one half double crochet in each stage, stitch, in each chain. No more increases. So here. We're going through here. We're just going to do wrap our yarn, run our hook, have our three loops, 
and we're going to go through all three. Oops. Back there. And this only one half double crochet in each chain. No more increases on this row. So this is row four, and it's only one half double crochet in each chain. So there you go. See every single chain, only one half double crochet. And now go around and do that, and I'll meet you here at the end of the row. Okay, I'm in my last one here, and I'm going to change colors to my white yarn. And remember, you need to use a cotton um, um, material for this because it's going to be getting wet. So you change yarn, whichever way you've been taught. Is it one, two? I'm going to stick with my hook there, and then that's when I pull out um, my new collar because I don't want it to be a big mess there. But then I just kind of tighten the back one here. I know some people say you don't even have to make knots. I don't know why they say that. My stuff seems to fall apart if I don't um, tie it, so then I'm going to tie that there. I'm going to cut off my yellow yarn. And then I'm going to, um, you could either sew these tails in or you can bury them while you're working, which is what I'm going to do. So once I'm here, we're going to be doing repeating row four. Only one half double crochet in each stitch, but I want to get these, these two tails here and kind of pull them together because I'm going to bury them in here. There, between that. So now, Starting here, I'm only going to do one chain to go up, okay? Now I do a half double crochet in here on the very first chain. I don't want you to skip. On that very first one that you went in, that's where you will begin your first half double crochet. Three loops, pull it all the way through. See how I'm burying that string in there? Do the next chain. Three loops are going to be on the hook. There, and then I pull it through. You see, there, it's going to be changing. The next one, see how my tails got buried in there so I don't have to do a lot of sewing. And we'll continue doing that all the way around. Oh, sorry, that I was there in the camera. One, half double crochet, and you change. Maybe. So now you see the change of our color. So I want you to keep doing that one half of a crochet in each chain all the way around. Okay, so here I'm on my last chain. And you can see how it's still wavy. Don't worry, that's okay. It'll get flatter. If you lay it on your bottom here, you're going to see that it gets a little bit flatter. But don't worry about that. It's going to get flatter as it goes along. So now to go to the next row, I'm just going to chain into my first chain there. So I switch stitch. My hook is so big. Okay, I'm here on my last stitch. I'm going to slip stitch into my middle one, into my first chain. So you should have two rows of white with the one one half double crochet in each chain. For the next round, then I'm going to crochet one chain to go up, and now here I'm going to do one half double crochet in the first chain, one half double crochet in the second chain, and then in the third chain I'm going to do an increase. So here I will have two half double crochets and that is the pattern so it would be one half double crochet in the first one one half double crochet in the second and then in our third oops sorry about that and then in our third one we're going to do two half double crochets so there will be an increase in every third chain that we do so here was one half double crochet one half double crochet and then um and then an increase, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, and an increase. 
So two chains will have one, and then the third one will have two. So that is a pat the pattern for this row, for this round. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll meet here at the end. Remember one, one, two, one, one, two. Okay, so we're in our last row here. I'm on our last chain, and I'm going to flip this once again into my beginning chain there. And so this is right now. Um, I need to measure this for you. Measure uh, about seven and a fourth. So if you want your dish cloth this size, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger just so that I can fold it and when I scrub things. And um, uh, I'm going to do one more row around, and and then after that I'm going to make an irregular edge. If you want yours perfectly round, you can do that, but um, I think when it's a little bit crooked, it looks a little bit more realistic. So right here for this row, our fifth white row, I'm going to do my stitch there, and this time I'm going to do three half double crochets. Two and three. So our first three chains. Oops, sorry about that. The first three chains are one half double crochet, and then in our fourth chain, I'm going to make an increase. So then here I will put two half double crochets, and that's the same pattern. Three with one in each chain, one half double crochet, and then on your fourth chain, you do an increase. So do that all the way around. This will be our last row for the regular um, white, and then if you like the way that looks, you can stop and you're done, or you can go on with me for the sixth row, and I will show you kind of how I just kind of add little stitches to make it regular. If you like it like this, then go ahead and stop. So go ahead and do that on the three chains with one half double crochet, then on the fourth chain you do an increase of two half double crochets. Okay, so I'm in my last chain here. As you can see, it doesn't it doesn't lay like perfectly flat, but it, like I said, it's a dishcloth. It's not a big, pro big problem. So then I'm going to slip stitch through my first chain. And if you like the way that looks fine, that's fine. I would just make a few um, maybe four chains and then come onto the next one and slip stitch there just so you could have a little place to make a little loop to hang it with. And um, if you wanted to make it kind of, you know how sometimes when you cook the eggs how they're kind of irregular shape, that's totally up to you. This next section here is is um, optional. I just chain one and then make a single crochet, stitch in the first chain, and then maybe the next one also a single crochet and then the next stitch after that I might make a half double crochet and the stitch after that a double crochet and then go back and do another half double crochet and then a single crochet basically there's no rhyme or reason you're just going to start making different stitches and then you can make another like two or three here. I'm going to do two uh, single crochets. See how it's just kind of making a little bump there. And then I think in my next one, I will do a half double crochet and then another half. This is usually what I do like this pattern here. So here I'll do um, uh, single crochets single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, like two or three single crochets, another half double crochet that I did here, and then here I'm going to make uh, a double crochet, and then I think I'll make a treble here, see on the next chain, it's just, um, you're just making random stitches just to make your edge of your egg kind of not perfectly round. So that is totally optional and then um, I just do that because I want it to just look kind of a little bit more natural. See because here it's perfectly round but here it's already getting kind of that lopsided shape. So that's totally up to you. I'm just going to continue doing that in my next 
Okay, as you can see, I finished my ink, the irregular edge. You can leave it just perfectly round if you want. So now I'm just going to um, slip stitch to where and then tie it off. And if you're going to be hanging it, then you would just crochet a few chains and then kind of slip stitch it back in there just to make a little loop. I don't hang my dish um, cloths, so I uh, usually just wash them directly after I finish using them. So, this is the egg. Um, it's just basically kind of irregular shape. I, you don't even have to make that much irregular shape. You can do a little bit, but I've never found an egg that I've cooked that kept was perfectly round. So, I thought, hey, if my eggs aren't perfectly round, maybe other people's eggs aren't all that perfectly round. So, let me just see if you can see that. So, you're all done, and I hope you enjoyed this. I just wanted to make a different dish cloth that was uh, maybe a little whimsical, and there it is. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, and make sure you hit the thumbs up. Thank you.